Hi, it's Therese and I'm here for Alton New and today I'm going to be doing some stamp layering using this beautiful Hope stamp set and coordinating dies from Alton New. I decided to mix it up a little bit and change my colour combo just to have a bit of fun with the crisp ink colours. They are really pretty colours and I particularly like this pink pearl which I've used for my base layer. So these flower petals in this set, there's actually four layers to them and I decided not to stamp out the very base layer. So that's going to mean that I have some white areas showing within my flower. Now you'll see what I mean as I um, continue stamping. And you really notice it actually once it's all die cut out at the end. So I'm doing two flowers at the same time so that just means that if I use the same piece of cardstock in my Misty tool, I can just flip it round and stamp in exactly the same spot. It just makes it really easy for multiple stamping. But you could easily do this just with some blocks. It's a, um, it's a really easy stamp set to line up. So what I did, if you can see what I'm doing here, is I've actually come in with the Citrus Burst on my next layer and I am stamping this a couple of times just to add a little bit of depth and I find as the colors dry um, the way that they sort of sit on each other is really unique and fun. So my final layer I do the same thing again but I'm using the maple yellow and with the misty I just line up my stamps over top of my stamped image and then pick the lid up, pick the stamp up with the lid of the Misty. It's just um, one of the easiest ways. And it doesn't look like much now, but when I bring it all together, I think it turned out really pretty. And I did do a couple of layers of the maple yellow as well, just to really add some depth with this colour. Could have even used a darker colour there. The centre of my flower, I used the silver stone and the Pure graphite was the very final layer and I just think having that dark center really made these flowers pop. Now it wasn't difficult to line up my dies. Um, I just sort of looked at the edges of the flower even though I didn't stamp the base layer and that worked out beautifully too. And I have only stamped two, two layers of the leaf image as well. I didn't actually stamp out the base layer. And the two colours I used here were the Forest Glades and the Evergreen. So it's a nice dark leaf image, but it still has the white highlights within it. So you can look at all of your Alter New layering stamps, and there are so many of them. And there are just so many options available. And I particularly like the ones too that have um, an outline of the flower, because that also gives you like a colouring option. So Alter New stamps are awesome and especially their floral stamps. I'm addicted but <laughs> you probably already knew that. So this leaf image also has a coordinating die and I just ran that through my die cutting machine four times and much easier than fussy cutting. The sentiment today is from a stamp set called Thinking of You. It has some really great um, Thinking of You sentiments and with caring thoughts. It's one of my favourite sets and I just stamped that with some black ink directly onto one of the flowers. I've got a pale grey card panel. I've cut just slightly smaller than my top fold card. I've added some score tape and to make sure that I get this centred perfectly on my card I'm just peeling back the opposite corners of the score tape and exposing some tape on the two corners and then I can use my fingers to maneuver the um, cardstock around until it's perfect and when it's in spot in the right spot I press down on the adhesive corners and remove the rest of the tape. The leaves I just adhered mostly with some glue dots and then I did actually pop up some of the flower images I used some uh, well, they foam foam dots, and on one of the foam on one of the flowers, I did actually pop it up with a couple of layers. So it is a fairly flat card, this one, and hopefully will post well because it's going to a very good friend of mine. 
So a very clean and simple card today. Hopefully we'll give you some inspiration to try some of your layering colors in a different way. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll list everything in the blog post and the link will be in the description below. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.